Hey, thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're going to talk about changing your URL or your domain name within WordPress. Now, it seems pretty straightforward, but WordPress leaves out quite a bit. Uh, so I wanted to walk you through it as I was changing a particular domain name uh, so you can see it. All right, so to head on over, um, first, I will say, you need to have the domain in your control panel for your hosting provider. And I thought about doing this for cPanel and some other custom ones or WP Engine, but it's simply attaching and pointing the domain name to your server. Um, if you do want to see that, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll assume that it's already been done for you. Um, if it hasn't, then you definitely need to do that. So you buy the domain name or you already own one and you point it towards your um, server. So this can either be via an A record or a C name based on your setup. I use WP Engine. They've always done A records and they've just changed to C names. It's just based on how the host likes to handle things. All right, so I've pointed a name towards my control panel on the host that I have. So that's step one that we've missed in this bit here. Next, we're going to head over to WordPress and log in. When you log in, of course, it'll look something like this. And then go to general settings. Now, if you go to settings and general, that's how I got there. I did it to this so you wouldn't see my email and send me emails directly. I'd love to just have your comments uh, below in YouTube or wherever else this is posted. All right, so this current site is thebunkies.com. Uh, which is a separate channel I do for tech, home tech, surveillance, etc. at your house. Um, and I'm changing it to Nerd Tech Dad, and I want to change it within WordPress. So again, settings in general. So site title, I guess while we're here, we will change the site title. The WordPress address URL, we'll type the same thing in or whatever yours is. And I usually just copy and paste it here. Um, typically, these are exactly the same. Right now, you may notice it's only HTTP. Um, I want to change over the domain first, get a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate, which I have videos on how to do that, and then change this. Uh, the admin email, of course, would be that. And then you scroll to the bottom and hit Save. After saving, it'll say Settings Saved, and you'll see your new URL in both these spots, the WordPress address and the site address. Now, it might take you a few times to refresh and see it, and I already started to change it before this video and realized, hey, I should help some people out. So I've refreshed several times. It took mine maybe about 15 minutes to clear over. Who knows why, sometimes it's 15 seconds. Um, so now you can see it there. But within WordPress itself, the original domain name is all over the place. Uh, it can be hard coded in, it can be on images, it can be in other places. So instead of showing a 404 or not found, uh, there's one more step, and that is to head over to plugins and go to add new. And we're going to add a plugin called Better Search and Replace. So, Better Search. I think that might just get it done. And it's right here as BSR with a magnifying glass with the database symbol inside of it. So better search replace a simple plugin to update URLs and other text within the database. Uh, and WP Engine bought this out, I believe, within a year, within the last year. I could be wrong. But I used this long before they bought it out. Uh, and it's been good and they haven't ruined it. So that is kudos to them. You can see here, um, I always look for the last time things were updated if it's compatible with my latest version, and anything with a million plus active installs uh, is usually pretty darn good. So go ahead and hit activate. I'll give it a second here. All right, and now it's activated, and you can see it right here. Better search and replace. Next, we're gonna come down to tools, and then better search replace. Go ahead and click. And then, um, this is the um, kind of options screen to do this. Um, I've actually never upgraded to the big one here, but they do have an upgrade which lets you preview, expressions, migrate full sites, import, export, email support, etc. 
this has always been top notch on the free version for me. So I'm gonna search for the old domain or whatever your old domain is, and you don't need HTTP, HTTPS. Now when we do switch to an SSL certificate, which I think I'll make a whole separate video of, um, I would then search for uh, HTTP and your old domain name, HTTPS and your old domain name and replace it strictly with an HTTPS only on the new domain. Um, so type this in. Now, a big thing about this is it's a really powerful tool. I would double, triple check what you're replacing, especially when you're doing URLs or you can completely break the site. Um, so if you have to, you know, you can go up here and copy this and paste it down here and know that you typed it incorrectly. Now it'll give it a dry run and we'll see it. But next we select tables. You can either pick and choose any table you want if you know the particular table that you want to change. Or I just do control A or command A and select all of them. Then I come down here, case sensitive, insensitive, um, searches for case sensitive by default. Um, I think everything's lowercase, but I can definitely turn this on. Um, replace GUIDSs. Um, I usually don't mess with this. There's reasons for it, but in this scenario, there isn't. And then lastly, run as a dry run. And this is my favorite part of the plugin. It's basically gonna search for this URL. Uh, and if it finds it, you know, replace it with this, but it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna tell me how many times it comes up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit run, search and replace. So right now you can see it processing. Um, I know I think I'm rate limited on this machine, so it's not gonna fly through, but yours may definitely be faster. Um, so we'll just give it one moment. Waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> if this is helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to help. And it looks like we are almost there. If this was a bigger, like one out of a thousand tables, I'd just pause the video. So now, now it's returning. So now it says dry run, which is what we did. That means nothing, nothing has been changed. Search 48 tables. 1385 cells were found that needed to be updated and zero changes were made. So this uh, old URL uh, was found quite a few times. Um, click here for more details or use the form below. So we might as well click here. And it shows here how long it took each one and it comes down here and we have um, WPGF, which is actually gravity forms, uh, entry data, that's a, big chunk of them right there. Some of the WP options, so that'd be under the site title, post meta, in, in post directly, come down here. And then um, link clicks. So this particular blog has TA is thirsty affiliates um, and it uses, um, it's probably hard coding the links in and that's why we have 894 of them. And then under WP users, a user, which most likely is myself, um, has that as well. So if you're happy with what you see on your end, then we can uncheck dry run. So we're good with this. Now we're gonna uncheck this and we're gonna commit. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna run through all these tables and change all these options for us. So we'll go ahead and hit run, search and replace. And I should have said, you know, a couple minutes ago when we started this, Make sure you back up your site before you dive into this. Uh, you can back up in cPanel, you can back up in other custom control panels. There are several plugins to do so. If you need any options or wanna hear about it, just let me know in the comments. If not, we'll just move on, but always take a backup. I didn't do it initially because mine backs up every morning, every day. Um, so I don't have to think about, hey, I just messed this whole thing up by changing it to the wrong URL and now it won't load, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So that's how it works. So, oh, phone call mid. All right, so now it says, during the search and replace, we searched 48 tables like before with 1385 cells changed with 1,385 updates. So now everything that had my old domain is now switched over to the new domain and that's it. So I wish WordPress did have in the settings area under general, 
a warning saying just because you changed it here doesn't mean it's changed everywhere. But here we are and that's why we make these videos to help you guys out. So that kind of sums it up. Um, there isn't anything else to show you unless I dug through the site to find the code of these, which you get the general idea. Find This is a small site. Finding 1,385 on a small site would be horrible doing it manually. Uh, on a bigger site, I've seen these numbers be with an extra zero or two on this on the end of it. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, that's it. Again, this is John from Press Avenue. If this was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more WordPress videos like this, please subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much.